you guys ready to go fishing? You ready to go fishing, Emmy? You ready? Huxley? You ready? You gonna get a big one? Oh, Cole's here too. Great. Ugh. Again? Hey, what's up, Mappers? Me, Coleslaw, Yo. and the fishing pooch. He's got a couple hours, and we're out on the lake that it has giant fish in it. So we're gonna try to catch those fish. I'm not really sure what to expect. We got kind of bluebird conditions today, so. I don't really know. Water's super clean though. Uh, I assume the fish are in post spawn. Water is actually, wow, 73, 74 degrees, which is warmer than I thought it would be. So Dang. probably gonna be fishing some big swim baits, doing some flipping, maybe some top water. Maybe the fish will be uh, schooling and stuff, but we're gonna have a good time regardless. We're and gonna catch up on whatever they're biting on. That's a good point, Cole. That's something that I think we struggle with sometimes. It's going out. We're like, we're gonna make a swim bait video. We're gonna make an Alabama rig video. We're gonna make a frog video. We're just gonna try to catch some damn fish and it's gonna be a good time. Right, pups? Yeah. Can you get a you bet? You bet. You're not gonna say anything? You bet. <laughs> Definitely gonna catch some on the big bay today. Here we go. What I say, Cole? Let's start the video like that. Bingo, bango. Emmy, you're excited about watching my bait come through the water, but I catch a fish and you're not even pumped. I'm finally getting around some fish. Look at that. We're on the board with the big bait. Just got to the lake and I'm noticing there's two to three pounders and some big ones all over the place that are chasing those guys pretty heavily. So we're out here today, a lake with a bunch of standing timber, big flooded forest you can see back behind us. And we're gonna throw some big baits. I got a bunch of them tied up right here that we're gonna get to, but that's a damn good start. We just got here. It's about to go down. Let's get them. There is a large fish right here. Cole, did I say the water's clean? Yeah. I can't remember if I told everyone that oh. the water's clean, but it is. I don't know if you told them. You definitely told me. Hey guys, the water's clean. Fish should be a little bitey, despite the old eastern wind. Maybe, probably not. We did drive by some cows and half of them were up and half were down. So you never know. They might want to bite a little bit. The whole group wasn't down at least. People think we're kidding. Being dumb, it's actually true. This lake's got a bunch of weird grass that looks dead and not good in it. So that's gonna make seeing them on the old Pamela a little difficult, but. Trees out here, huh? Nah, not really. Dude, look how far you can see. It's like, oh God, there's a big one on me. Yes, there is. Dude, that was like a six, seven pounder. At least. Holy balls. I don't even see him on scope or anything. He came out of nowhere. He was just like, meh. He just grabbed the head. <laughs> Dude, I hate it when they bite the head like that. You ever had that problem before? I can't say I have. <laughs> I'd like to though. <laughs> Sounds like a fun problem to have. Dude, deal. What a start. That was badass. Something big as hell. Yes, it was. This water is like, it's hard to tell because it's got a, like a weird tannic brown tinge to it, but I think they can see my swim bait from like 40, 50 feet away at least. That's why I'm throwing the big glide. It's a good time to throw a big glide. You know, if it was muddier, I'd probably throw something like a crank down or something like that, or a soft bait that I can make a lot of contact with this wood or the bank or something. But I want something that's natural. I know it's, it's not really natural that there's a bait randomly going side to side. They're probably like, why is that a thing that's happening? I already got another follower too. What I'm saying is you want something natural when it's this clean. Or, I mean, you can go completely the other direction, which who knows, we might end up doing that where you gotta freaking throw bright chartreuse or something to set them off and get them to react. I did like though how that one actually did bite the head. Hopefully everyone at home saw that. Cause that means they're not super Spooky. A lot of times you have days where they just follow all day. <laughs> Ready for it, Cole? 
I guess so. <laughs> Whole bunch of them there. School Deal. little chucks. Deal. Here we go. Ooh, Ooh. broke me off. My, my jerk cricket. <laughs> what in the world just happened? That was weird. I saw some big ones on the piling, so I don't <laughs> want to burn that. Right in Emmy's face. Jeez, sorry, Em. He just caught this. Good That's job, a fish dude. that was hooked on my jerk crick. Jerk crick. <laughs> wow, uh, retie and stuff, I guess, right? Mmm, Emmy. She got one in her front too. Damn it. That's the one that she She's good. felt She's good. right away and then tried to bail out. Jesus, puppy. <laughs> Try the big guy, I guess. Cannonball! There it is! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Here they come. Big old school of fish there. I don't know if they're big. This one is though. Look up, buddy. There we go. Here we go. Come on. Hmm. Here we go. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Net? Yeah, quick. <laughs> God damn, yes! <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Dude, you got one too. <laughs> Two fish at once. Look at that. Mine's bigger. Which one's mine? They're both yours. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Look at that bait. Dude, that's like a 12, 13 pound fish if it wasn't summer oh look at cole's net job dude you did I didn't great care. you didn't do like, anything I'm, wrong I'll, I'll dive in after this thing. dude that one crushed it i just threw the hankle over that oh my god i'm getting us away from it. you see how many there were that size there i have a dent in my knee dude smoked it on the oh, contact sport cole oh hell yes dude on the 14er <laughs> yes oh my god that's the biggest bait i've ever caught a fish on before that is incredible. It's a shark bait, right? It's a shark fishing bait. <laughs> Just I know there's the, the old, he did, he smoked it and went straight sideways. Yeah. The old adage that big baits catch big fish. Well, this was an example of one that wouldn't eat something else. He chased it. God, that's such a spawned out, beat up fish that would be probably 10 to 12 pounds in the winter pre-spawn. Look at that giant bait though, hanging from its mouth. Oh my God, that's incredible. And there was like two or three more just like this one following it too. This one just got there first. But that just goes to show you, he tried to headshot it. Probably did headshot it. It probably was like this. Oh, he's hooked way down there yes, too. Yes, he is. He's got that's all incredible. three. Yeah, deal. Look how loose and empty that belly is when she already spawned. Emmy, look. Wow. <laughs> That's incredible. That's a, we got to get some good pictures of that. Giant frame. That's a huge frame. Throw her on the scale quick. Should be zeroed. Sweet. Thanks, Cole. It's a long fish. That is such a long fish. Big frame, big head, big gills. Yeah, big everything, really. Still at 849. God, man. So skinny. So skinny. 
eight and a half pounds, probably 25 inches or so. At least. So big. Craziness. Biggin. Look how big that fish is. She's just all beat up. Just got done spawning probably a couple weeks ago. Maybe not even that. Give her a second. She's got all that loose crap from her skin falling off from the spawn. Yes, yes, deal. Let's see if we get another one. This bait is called the Moby for good reason. 14 and a half inch, 12 ounce bait. It's made by a company called Greenleaf Lures. Look at that detail on there. And I love the painted fins, not sponsored or anything, but the owner hit me up and liked the videos and said, I gotta send you some of these to try out. They've been badass and threw the hankle through there. And I'm sure they've seen at this point more and more, they're seeing these nine to 10 inch baits. And so giving them something bigger and more natural. Got it, this thing glides so wide, it's a slow float, but when you work it, you can get it down three or four feet, probably two feet each direction, it's crazy. Whew. We're fishing a point right now though, and I'm sure that's a spot where fish can just pull out after they got done spawning. It's got a little habitat on the point too that I, I know doesn't hurt things. We're gonna bounce back up here. I'm gonna make another long cast and hopefully those guys that saw their friend get ripped out of the spot I'm fishing are excited. Let's see what they think about this guy. Here we go. Look at you. Look at you go. Jurgens. Jurgens, dude. He did a cartwheel, a front flip, a gainer. Timmy's just pissed that I got the old jerk snatch cricket in his grill. Don't put it in my hand, please. I'm gonna let you go. Same piece of cover. We went with the old natural after we hit him with the big. Not a bad little fish. Provoke, we got them in stock too. Not just for pre-spawn in winter or fall. Also for the post-spawn in summer. All right, there's not really a bad time for you guys to throw a jerk bait. Bluegills aren't even spawning, they're just doing bluegill stuff. That's a bass on a bed right there. That's a bigger one there too. Crazy, we just got to the dam <coughs> and there's beds all over and actually some bass on them. Really surprising, water's 75 degrees and it's always a, you know, a common thought that when it's about 65, they're really good up on beds, but don't let water temperature dictate exactly what you're gonna do. Now we have several fish to cast at right here and we're gonna flip some, some baits on some bed fish. Water's really clean too, so we should have a good chance at them. And these ones that are at the end of the year are generally a little bit easier to catch sometimes, but it's fishing, so it might not be. Okay, for real though, we're seeing so many bluegill up here. Cole was actually like, yeah, check out that bluegill bed, and there's just gills all over the place, but I was like, nah, that's a bass bed. And then somehow there's bass still. I'll take it. So, what I'm getting at is we're going to throw a bluegill color, natural. We definitely don't need the white to be able to see it. Although white does sometimes make them very mad. Bed getter. Pups, you ready? Huxley, try to contain yourself. Emmy, settle down. Emmy hooked her foot, so now she's scared of life. Or so I thought. Did you catch him yet? Yeah, I thought I was going to. We need to get him out of there because there's definitely going to be eggs on it. Yep. Ah. <laughs> Took it from him. Must be the last guys to bed. Got him, slot. Oh no! Did it break off? No. Oh. So Cole's got the old shaking head on with a really light weight. And I tell you guys all the time, that can make a big difference. As it did right there, of course. I was going to bite it down too. Might need to. We're just trying to get this male out of here because this late in the year, they've definitely laid their eggs. So you gotta catch the male, get the male out, and then the female will come up on the bed to protect the eggs, because the male's guarding them right now. Because on the fall, he doesn't like it just sitting mm -mm. there. There it is. Mm. Took my cricket. Did you bite it down? No, you just yeah, took it. Yeah, no, I bit like an inch and a half off. What the, f there's another male he just chased out. 
Oh. Oh, you gotta eat it, bud. There we go. It's just barely holding on, dude. How much That's smaller nice. do I go? Oh my gosh. <laughs> pissed he's got this. Bro, damn it, dude. There's a gar. <laughs> yes, there is. A Ned rig might be good. Mm-hmm. Ooh, there's a frog rider right there. Oh my god, she got it good that time. It's about to happen. Smaller than I thought. A good fish. Thick one, tall Thick one. Thick boy. Hello. Coming in hot, <laughs> slaw, with the quickness. Peeing, might be a male. Dang, I thought that fish was bigger. It looks bigger from a distance. Deal, we're losing our angle for uh, bed fishing here, but finally got one to go. Finally found one we didn't have to get right on top of, mostly. All right, let's keep covering some water, see if we can come across a big. He's like, oh, that's smaller. He could hook me easier. I'm out. Cool, get on the ladder. Oh, no! Dude. <laughs> Didn't even set that Shouldn't one. laugh at your peril, but that was awesome. I did he not set right it at all. He still went right back to the bed. He might do it again. Yeah. Probably not, but maybe. Oh, what a little prick, dude. That's the one Nicole hooked three times earlier. I wonder if your shaky head's still in its mouth. That'd be cool. Well, that turned out to be a long day on the water. You guys didn't see it. We fished actually two other lakes before that, um, before we got to this one, and left at like 4.30 this morning. So it is now dark, 9 o'clock at night, and uh, we're back home. We didn't catch the most fish today, but it was incredible catching fish on this guy and having all the interest and followers on it. It's hard to really fathom how big this bait is here. Let me put the draw next to it, which is, as you guys know, a nine inch bait. Like look how much taller it is and longer. It even dwarfs the hinkle shed. And the cool thing was I threw the hinkle and the draw over that spot just prior to throwing this guy and they both had fish kind of come up and look at it and then through the the giant 14 and a half inch bait and they that one just flew up off the bottom and crushed it so i always like to experiment i never thought in my life um i always wanted to throw big baits and catch fish i thought it was so cool when i first found out about them so many years ago but i never thought i would be throwing a 14 and a half inch bait and I'm so excited to throw it at some other lakes too, where there's giant shad eaters. But like I was telling Cole, when the bass start eating big shad, you see shad fly up out of the water, out of nowhere, being chased by bass that are this big and two, three, four inches bigger than that. So the hinkle shad isn't even, or, or the draw isn't even the size of what they're eating a lot of times. They're eating stuff this big and bigger. Crazy, crazy cool. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a grind, and back at it tomorrow. Catch you, catch you on the next one, where we hopefully catch fish then too.